Hey everybody, Brian here, Castle Hives, Northeast Ohio Beekeeping in the apiary. Have work to do. Okay, everybody, the plan here today, we have the super back here for the bee box. So oxalic acid treatments are done. Video will be coming up for that um, this week. So look for that. It's, it's a whole series of doing the mite wash and the treatments and then mite wash afterwards. Just so curious here uh, what my mite counts are. But here today, what we're gonna do is just take a quick look in the bee castle, see how they're building out. I've got the super here, it's ready. Um, we're gonna add that. And then you see I have the poly, the bee box here. We're gonna transfer this hive here into the bee box. So that was the plan. Once I combined it down, it was just going to go into this hive. So let's get this work started. We're gonna get this hive stand done, supers on, let the girls go to town. So we're almost entering in, uh, you know, to this fall flow and I want these hives ready. So, and a, another little tip here. So those brand new beekeepers out here, out there, Little, little FYI, some information alert here. If you smell like dirty socks, you'll hear a lot of seasoned beekeepers. Look at the leaves starting to fall. You'll hear a lot of seasoned beekeepers say it's smelly sock season. That is because of the goldenrod. You'll know when your girls are hitting that goldenrod because as I walk, and I get about five feet away from the hives now, you can just smell it. It's just such a distinct smell. Um, it's not that, you know, some might be alarmed thinking, oh, you know, there's something wrong with them and call up friends. It's that goldenrod flow. So, um, you know, just a little bit of information for you. If you smell, oop, I'm knocking over my uh, burner. But some information, you know, if you just smell, you know, that, that gym, dirty sock smell, it's the goldenrod. So let's get into the bee castle here. Let's get that opened up. I wanna hurry through these inspections though too because it's almost 90 here. We are in those dog days of the summer, super hot. So I wanna get this hive stand done and then tomorrow we're gonna to work on the front hive stand and then get the uh, horizontals done as well. So let's get the bee castle opened up. All right, let's see what the bee castle shows us. So I'm seeing girls, this frame, yeah, clear out. So, good. All right, let's pull an outer frame. And the reason why I do that is just simply to allow me space. They're starting to build that out, that's good. That's good. Wow. That frame there is fully capped. Beautiful brood here. Oh yes beautiful brood frame here oh and there's my queen so right there is the queen. We got drone uh, comb there on the bottom, but you see the beautiful queen there. Just gotta watch my queen. She came around this side here.
eggs, larvae on here. We've got some funky drone comb there. I'll have to clean that up. This next frame is not built out all the way. They got some funky comb on it. Oh, they're starting to build it out. All right. So, what I'm going to do is slide that back in put this frame right here and let that fully drawn honey frame uh, go to the outside and that's where I want it I want my outer frames honey and my brood nest in the middle and now what we got is I'm putting my queen excluder on and ah, we are putting a super on the bee castle. Um, I'm staggering this super also. You see I have brand new frames and then I have other drawn frames that have a little bit of nectar in them. So my plan is to pull them up and let them build those frames out. So Bee Castle is in good shape. Let's move on now to what is going to be called the Bee Box. Okay, everybody, we're gonna get into uh, this. It was a double nuke that was combined down and we're gonna move it over to the Bee Box. So I wanna get in here and look and see uh, where they are at though. thinking before I even get into this I'm gonna pull this super and just get into the brood all right so I have this set up in the order in which this box is gonna go so let me give them a little bit of smoke and let's just work our way across. Look at this beautiful brood frame here. I'll be damned. <clears throat> right there, you see down in the lower corner, right there is the queen. Nice. She is going into her new home. Alright, so since I have the queen there, I'm going to go fast with this next one here. It's hot. Um, I know the girls are not really going to like me too much for doing this, but, you know, that's what it is.
you know, for some odd reason, I just saw there's only nine frames in there. So I got to move this over and uh, go grab another frame. All right, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I'm going to get this back together. I got to give them a little bit of smoke to get them off of there. And probably I know I'm going to crush a couple. But... Okay, here is the bee box now. So I'm going to get the uh, super transferred over and wrap this up. Um, the girls, you can see there's a couple at me. I just expected that when I'm shifting things around like this. But um, bee castle itself, happy with where that is. This hive here, look at the amount of girls in this hive. If it was a month earlier, I might do a split pull off of this just to get another, you know, um, another hive going off of this uh, daughter. But, you know, we're going to be into September. It's too late to be doing, you know, at least for me. Some people can. Uh, I'm just, you know, at least here at Castle Hives. Um, but I'm just getting ready for that fall goldenrod flow now. So um, if you all want to keep watching some beekeeping, and watch how this goldenrod flow, you know, comes in here at Castle Hives. See how much honey we get. Hit that like and also subscribe. Really helps out the channel. So, um, you all take care. I'm going to wrap this up, get out of these clothes. It's super hot. Um, everybody have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.